and I know that there's this craziness going on right now. Market's going down, this, this, and that. Ah, scratch that. Anyways, Scott, this video is for you. I know you wanted to see the daily earnings, the difference between slush pool, um, Bitcoin, and ant pool. I can't even get into ant pool right now, so unfortunately, we're just going to do the difference between slush pool and Bitcoin.com mining pool. Um, for you who don't know, I'm running three ant miners on slush pool and three ant miners on Bitcoin.com mining pool and three ant miners on ant pool um, mining pool to really see the difference and really grasp what is getting us the most money. Um, so, you know, all the variables are the same. It's six ant miners in total, two, two, and two. They're all hashing approximately 13.6, 13.7 from the actual GUI interface. And let's go quickly to it and get straight to it. So you guys see here at Slush Pool, um, I'm hashing approximately right now about 40 terahash per second. And if you look, my estimated daily reward is 0 .006. Now guys, this constantly changes. Anybody who's mining knows that. But on the average, I'm staying about 0 .005 to 0 .06 with this 40 terahash per second. Look, it just dropped right now. Um, now with the Bitcoin.com mining pool, my average revenue is anywhere from 0 .004 to 0 .005 for the next 24 hours. And you can also see here, I'm actually running a little bit higher between 40 terahash and 42 to even sometimes 44 terahash. So even though I'm performing a higher calculation rate with the Bitcoin.com mining pool, I mean, apparently it looks like Slush Pool is the winner and I'm about to switch all the machines over to Slush Pool and start going 100% with them. So in, in no way am I endorsing or telling you guys to go with one mining pool over the other. I'm just going through my trials and my errors and I want to show you what's working best for me. All right, good luck, guys.